A deep violet crimson in the glass. Luscious bouquets of aromas fill your senses. The first sip takes you away to a vineyard in the south of France. It's almost hard to believe that this fine wine was made right here in the Buckeye State. It's very challenging to be an Ohio winemaker because Ohio does have a long history of sweet wine. So uh, I constantly face a certain amount of prejudice. We're changing that one bottle at a time. But there are a lot of people that if they see Ohio River Valley on the bottle, they're like, well, I'm really not interested because they just don't understand what we're accomplishing here. Ohio has accomplished many feats throughout history as a wine state. Back in the 1860s, Ohio was known as the Rhine of America when over 500,000 gallons of wine were produced each year. But crop diseases and prohibition left Ohio's grapevines to wither away. However, in the 1970s, a resurgence in Ohio wines occurred as a result of encouragement to grow French American or a vinifera of varieties of grapes. Ohio is now home to over 80 wineries spanning from the shores of Lake Erie down to the valley of the Ohio River. We actually looked in southern Ohio for around three years for a property that had a decent house that we could live in and uh, soil that was appropriate. And it turns out that our site is just incredible for grapes. It's really the soil, which is deep, unglaciated limestone, perfect for grapes. Also, we have a very long growing season. The harvest period in a good year runs from mid-September to the very end of October with cool nights, warm days, perfect for grapes. So those two things, the soil and the, and the long ripening season are what's fabulous about our site. Ohio may have the right conditions for growing grapes, but all Ohioans are familiar with the unpredictable weather here, which takes its toll on the vineyards. Weather and other challenges are just part of the business for grape growers. Every region of the world has its own problems. <laughs> In Ohio, it's, uh, the winters can be very severe, and uh, the Asian lady beetle is a problem uh, for some growers. Uh, but in Africa, they have baboons coming down, stealing the grapes. So everybody's got something. Nancy Bentley and her partner, Ron Barrett, have definitely got something in Kincaid Ridge wines. Ron actually was a master's electrical engineer for many years. I was a computer scientist uh, working for Sun Microsystems. I also am a certified chef. But when I ran into Ron, uh, he had left engineering and he had started uh, a 40-acre vineyard in Oregon. I think it was kind of a question of burnout on high tech and lots of meetings. And after 10 years of grape growing in Oregon, uh, Ron was ready for a new challenge. Ron's grandfather was a farmer in Ohio, so even as a little boy, he was on a tractor. And uh, he's always just been interested in farming, and particularly he became uh, fascinated with grapes. So it's hard to explain why a grape grower is, it's a passion. They just, you know, they can't stop. They, every year it's a new challenge, you know, and, and they're just so interested in it. I sort of have three outfits. I have the outfit to work in the vineyard. I have the outfit, uh, you know, for tasting and meeting new clients. And then I have the delivery outfit with the jeans. Kincaid Ridge is a small winery, producing around 1,500 cases of wine per year. Ron and Nancy take pride in knowing that every bottle with a Kincaid Ridge label is of the utmost quality. This quality comes from selective harvest methods and a little something else. Terroir, uh, it's a French word. And some people have translated it as a sense of place. Every little area has its own microclimate and will add a little something to it. I love the phrase from the Wall Street Journal, there's two writers, and they say all fine wine should have a sense of place. Our wine is, is very good because we have viticultural practices that are very hand intensive, very labor intensive, but they add to the quality of the wine.
we have a wine that we don't feel is absolutely top notch, we have what's called a second label, which was named after the village of Ripley. It's called River Village Cellars. As an example, this year's Syrah harvest, because of the wet September, uh, there was a lot of rotten fruit, and it's very possible that we won't have a Syrah Kincaid Ridge two years from now. It will be a River Village Cellars wine and less expensive. We leave it hang here as long as possible to get make the best wine possible, and we throw away a lot to make the best wine possible. Hard work and selectivity has paid off for Kincaid Ridge. We are getting absolute international recognition. The 2003 Viognier Rassam blend was rated one of the top 100 exciting wine finds in the world in the 2006 Wine Report paperback. And we just put four medals into the American Wine Society competition, and one of them got the double gold. Ohio may not be as renowned as France or California for fine wines, but wineries like Kincaid Ridge are making a name for Ohio among the best of the best. So next time, perhaps try drinking a wine with a taste that's a little closer to home.